It's a nightmare. Thousands of flights are canceled. Hospitals can't access medical records. ATMs stop working. And millions of people can't even turn on their computers. It sounds like a plot of a disaster movie, but this scenario just happened in real life and it was all caused by a single file in a routine security update. I'm Keetron Evans. Let's talk about the CrowdStrike chaos. So what happened exactly? Let me first explain some required context that's often missing in conversations around this event. See, your computer's memory has two primary areas where things can run, user land and kernel land. User land is where most applications operate and it's the area you as a user interact with. Kernel land is a protected zone where the operating systems like Windows and crucial drivers that enable your system to communicate with hardware, like your network cards or your USB drives, operate. This protection is essential because even a small error in kernel land can cause the entire system to crash. Years ago, malware creators discovered ways to escalate privileges and run malicious software in kernel land. This is problematic because if malware runs there, it's invisible and nearly unstoppable by security software that operates only in user land. One solution is to have security software like CrowdStrike that can also operate in kernel land. This allows it to detect and stop powerful malware that would otherwise go unnoticed. However, this comes with risk. If CrowdStrike software makes a mistake while operating in kernel land, it could crash the entire system. This is why most applications are not allowed to run in kernel land. But for security software, the benefit of detecting and stopping malware usually outweighs the risk of potential crashes. Now, CrowdStrike provides many different cybersecurity services, including threat detection and cybersecurity incident response. One of their products is the Falcon platform. Falcon runs on your PC and is designed to detect and prevent cyber attacks. Falcon's early detection driver operates at the kernel level, which is how such a small error had such devastating impact on the Windows operating system. The CrowdStrike incident highlights a problem that isn't discussed enough, supply chain risk. When too many systems rely on the same third-party vendor to keep them running, a single failure can cause chaos. In this case, over 8.5 million PCs to date were impacted. Why wasn't this error caught before the update went out? We don't know yet for sure, but oftentimes critical security updates might get pushed out without as much scrutiny as other types of updates. So what should you do if your computer is affected by this kind of mass outage either now or in the future? Well, first, stay informed. We live in a connected world and that means tech news is a lot like the weather. Keep an eye out for the latest problems and you'll know what's going on. Second, maintain current backups. Always back your files up regularly, especially the critical and personal ones. Third, watch out for scams. Scammers are already taking advantage of the CrowdStrike chaos to send phishing attacks. These messages promise to prevent similar incidents or claim that you can recover your lost data. Just click here, but it's a scam. Fourth, follow organizational guidance. If your work computer is affected, don't try to solve the problem yourself. Instead, report it to the proper team and follow all policies and procedures laid out by your organization. We live in a interconnected world and that's not changing anytime soon. The CrowdStrike incident proves that even if you and your organization do everything right, you can still end up losing your data. So stay safe, stay smart, and I'll see you next time on Hacker Headlines.